Hi, I'm Sarah Franzini reporting for South Huntington Regional High School News on a new discovery in ribosomes. Ribosomes are not organelles, as they do not consist of membrane-bound structures. They are composed of proteins and ribonucleic acid, also known as RNA, and consist of two parts known as subunits. Ribosomes are part of the cell that specializes in protein synthesis. It assembles the 20 specific amino acids to form the particular protein molecules determined by the nucleotide sequence of RNA molecules. Ribosomes may be found freely in the cytoplasm of the cell or attached to the endoplasmic reticulum and can also be found in prokaryotic and eukaryotic cells. Ribosomes may be a key factor in the early stages of Alzheimer's disease. Researchers have found that the dysfunction of ribosomes that causes Alzheimer's is the decreased rate and capacity for protein synthesis, decreased ribosomal RNA and tRNA levels, as well as increased RNA oxidation. Alzheimer's, a form of dementia, is also caused by dietary habits, high blood pressure and cholesterol, as well as genetic inheritance. The diagnosis for Alzheimer's is done through a brain autopsy. This evaluation includes taking a recent history of mental and behavioral symptoms, a physical examination and neuropsychological tests, or evaluations that further your understanding of a person's mental and physical abilities. Impairments in pr protein synthesis in ribosomes may be one of the earliest neurochemical alterations in Alzheimer's disease. There is, unfortunately, no current cure for this disease. Symptoms of Alzheimer's include memory loss, challenges in planning or solving problems, difficulty completing familiar tasks, confusion with time or place, trouble understanding visual images as well as special relationships. As you can see, Alzheimer's can be a very serious disease and affects many parts of your brain. Other symptoms of Alzheimer's may also be new pro pro problems with words and speaking or writing, misplacing things and losing the ability to retrace steps, decreased or poor judgment, withdraw from work or social activities, as well as changes in mood or personality. Alzheimer's typically progresses over 2 to 20 years. People who have the disease live on average 10 years after their diagnosis. Individuals with Alzheimer's disease are likely to develop coexisting illnesses and most commonly die from pneumonia. Alzheimer's is an illness that not only affects the lives of the individuals with the disease, but it also affects the loved ones that surround them. This new discovery of the ribosome dysfunction may help lead to a cure for Alzheimer's disease.